Yeah, and then you can get it. Uh, that is a a child who is born with, and then you can get spina bifida occulta with a tether cord syndrome, or you can get operated childhood operated meningomyelocele with different deformities. So uh, you just describe the deformity as you rightly described. Go from the top, the spine. In the spine, you see scoliosis or kyphosis or stigma of spina bifida. That means either operated scar or hair patch or nevius uh, there or a mass there like a lipo meningo uh, meningocele, which was never operated. In the hip, you're seeing flexion or adduction deformity and uh, dislocation if it is dislocated. Knee flexion, adduction or any coronal deformity then torsional deformity, and then foot, a different possibility of all the uh, combination and possible. Other than this, there are other two things you need to remember that uh, because of the significant osteopenia these children have, they are very prone for pathological fracture without pain. So there is no symptoms and they are pathological fracture and quite often uh, they can be missed or they can be misdiagnosed as osteomyelitis because they present with the uh, with the with the swelling and 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 the skin gets stretched and they feel red there and because of the hematoma sometimes the temperature may be increased there so they are uh, can be misdiagnosed as a infection and a lot of these children have latex allergy so whenever you are treating these children for anything you presume that although latex allergy could be anything about 30 to 60 percent, but you presume every child to be latex allergy and always use latex free instrument and gloves. So these are the things you need to remember for uh, spina bifida. Mm -hmm.